Think of it, all your charitable involvement, including one of the founding fathers of the Community Foundation. Yeah. I mean, talk about something that's started small and is just... Yeah, I, I'll never forget that. You know, when we started, uh, Ken Strickler and uh, Betty Lene and uh, I can't remember them all, but we were, we were trying to hit a million dollars. We set a million dollar goal. And the last thing I know is about 39 million. Yeah, yeah. And how wonderful, how wonderful. I, you know, the best vehicle we ever had. And it, it's changed over the years, you know? Because, uh, you know, they had no way of having a small foundation or have a dedicated fund or any of this. Now they do, and it sure as heck use. That's right. Yeah. If you had to leave a message to your employees and to your families, what would it be? What's the Carl Kappa thought? Well, I, I, I say that, you know, I try, you know, I, last Sunday in church they gave me a message on love. Love as God knows it, not as we know it. A sexual type of thing, and uh, that you love each other, and uh, you know, there's a lot of people I don't. I I think they can do more for the community than they do, and I feel sorry for them because they don't know the satisfaction you get. That's where I feel very very. Oh, uh, guilty about that. The uh, I get as much satisfaction as they do, or more so. I really love it. I really love it. You know, I keep this, you know, this on my desk. And and this is it says when people say they're happy to be part of their church. I guess I need a part, uh, I need a pat on the back. I got the neatest Christmas gift from a woman, from a woman. It is a plaque that says a hundred years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was or what sort of house I lived or the kind of car I drove, but the world may be a better place because of me. And I keep that right here. You can oh, see that's it. terrific. Yeah, yeah. Terrific. What a legacy.